Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure you guys are aware, over the last few years, I've covered a wide variation of glitches on GTA 5 online, including launch glitches, clothing glitches, car glitches, character glitches, and got off the feedback you guys seem to really appreciate when I do bigger compilations. So instead of showing you guys one glitch in this video, I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys the top five best working glitches in GTA 5 online. And as always, these five glitches are very different from one another. So if you guys do go on to enjoy the video and you do want to see me do more bigger compilations like this in the future all i ask is you return the favor by dropping a like down below and also feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 videos without further ado let's get into the video Okay, so the first thing you guys will need is a helicopter. It could be any helicopter, it doesn't make a difference. And you guys will need one other friend to do this glitch. So if you guys don't have that many friends that play GTA 5 online, just be sure to use the comment section down below. Find yourself a friend or a player that will help you out. And don't forget to leave what platform you're on. Now, once you guys have got a heli and a friend, you simply want to drive on top of the FIB building. It's very noticeable. It has this little glass pyramid right at the top of it, right next to the maze bank. There's only one little location for all these skyscrapers. I'm pretty sure you guys will be able to find it. Now, for from here you guys basically want to line the side of the heli up with the side of the glass so as you boys can see there is like a little foot rest on the helicopter i managed to get that directly on the brown line of the glass window on the top of the roof you don't have to get it exactly as i do here just get it near enough in the same position now from here you guys just basically want to get your friend to jack the heli off you if you guys don't know how you do that he just holds down y and he basically rubs the heli off you as you boys can see it will throw you out of the heli you will glitch out for a second in the glass and then bang you will just sink straight through into the fib building very easy very straightforward by far the best method i have ever seen to get inside this building which has got to be one of the most detailed buildings within GTA Online. So imagine if you guys do like to put together Rockstar editor movies, you're very active with your snapmatic photos, this building right here does give you guys just so much more potential than any other location within the map. Now it's not essential but what I would suggest doing is if when you guys are in the heli parked on top of the roof is to go into first person view. It seems to always work. I've had a 100% success rate when the person's gone into first person. It's not necessary but I have got friends to do this glitch as well after I've done it and they all had 100% pass record by switching into first person when they sit in the heli nonetheless i'm pretty sure 100 of you guys will be able to do this straight away like i said before it is a pretty detailed wall breach and as you boys can see we've arrived on the destroyed burnt floor which you guys do in the story mode if you're familiar with it and there is a few different burnt floors there's not only one burnt floor this building is actually humongous and like i did show you guys earlier you are able to shoot out of this building and there is tons of different holes like plotted up all around the map now i'm actually recording this in an invite only session as i don't do wall breaches in public sessions but if you guys do get in this building in the public session like i said this building is in los santos downtown so there will be tons of cars helis jets driving around you i guarantee it just stay in here for like 20 minutes and you'll see how many bodies start surrounding you and all of these holes that you can see like looking out of the building you'll be able to shoot out of all of these using anything homing launchers guns mini guns so it really is probably the best wall breach that i have personally seen as it is also a god mode wall breach the guys won't be able to shoot you as if they try and spray you with a heli or something at the side of the building even where these holes are showing up for you on their screen like i said before it's only going to show windows with like bullet marks of where their bullets land so god mode very big very detailed all in all a very sick wall breach First thing you guys want to do is be in an online session, press pause, go across to online, go to play job, go to rockstar created, and then you want to launch the adversary mode called every bullet counts one. You guys will know you've got the right one straight away because there's a big picture of Michael's mansion on the right as you guys can see. So this is a rockstar created adversary mode. All the adversary modes are rockstar created. So we all got them no matter if you're rank one or 1000. We all have the same adversary modes. This is why this glitch is so sick because it doesn't isolate any players. Anyone can do it. However, once you guys are in this menu, it's completely up to you. You can put it on any amount of rounds. If you guys are purely doing this because you want to get inside Michael's mansion during free mode sessions, then just put it on one round as one round will go in less than two minutes. However, if you guys have got a few friends online, I'd probably suggest putting on a few rounds as this is an extremely fun game mode to actually 
to play. Like I said, it is a game at the end of the day. You guys are on here to have fun. And every bullet counts. I really do rate this game mode. I'm actually going to do some more gameplays of me just playing GTA 5 and going through some of the epic game modes I like to play personally. However, like I said, one round or three rounds, it really doesn't make a difference. All you want to do is play one round that's in the game. And as you boys can see on screen now, once the game finishes, you simply just want to select free mode. Now, once you guys arrive back in free mode, you want to get like a truck or something with a decent height. Obviously, in my case, I'm using a big massive transit bus. This isn't necessary, but it seems to do the trick for me. However, once you guys have got the vehicle of decent height, you simply want to jump on top of the vehicle so it'll allow you to get on top of the garage. Now, once you guys get on top of the garage, you guys will notice over here on the left, boom, the window is open. Now, I actually took the liberty of restarting my game, going into a new session and going back to the same spot without doing the trick I just done. Just so I can prove to you guys that this window isn't usually open, it's usually closed off to the public. As you boys can see on screen now, I actually got confused thinking, wait, is the window over here? Nope. As you boys can see, the window is locked. So this is 100% working after all the latest patches on both PlayStation, Xbox and PC. However, getting back to the original gameplay, once you guys jump in the window, this mansion now is yours to use. This is squatter's rights, boys. <laughs> Have your rights. And like I said, it may be if you're too broke to afford your own mansion. Just buy a cheap garage and then just use this mansion for the coming weeks while you guys are stacking because this mansion is probably better than a normal apartment as you guys can use the laptop Unfortunately, you can't use the bed or the wardrobe. That'd be sick if you could. However, you could basically shoot out of it. You can walk around with guns. You can have fights in the apartment. Stuff that you just can't do in your normal apartments, which I wish you personally could do. What I think would be a good idea for an update as far as apartments is being allowed to change the preferences like on a yacht. So you can make people fight. You can make people have guns out. It's completely up to the property owner. Coming in for the third trick in this video, and this is probably my favorite out of this compilation. I'm not gonna lie, because you have the potential to have so much fun while doing it. And this is basically how you guys can arrive on your yacht in style. And to do so, all you guys have to do is grab yourself a speed or speed boat. It could be any different type. This works with all the different types of boats. This is the great thing about it. You wanna get your character who wants to get launched onto the boat to stand roughly where I am, just at the front of the boat. And then you wanna get your friend who's the driver to drive back from a considerable distance, roughly where I am on screen, and just drive to towards the boat at full speed and you boys will see boom <laughs> your character literally gets launched onto the boat in style so i don't want to see any of you boys pulling up to the boat on the side and getting out like a normal civilian now that you know this nice little trick especially considering a load of people nowadays on gta 5 love to take other people's yachts over it's even part of the vip work to like take over someone's yacht so definitely use this trick to pull up next to them and they'll have no idea on how you just got on top of their yacht like that in two seconds so a very awesome little trick great thing about this glitch is it's 100% solo, it doesn't require any friends and it's extremely easy to do. So you can just quickly do this glitch every single time you want this outfit just to save you guys a slot in your outfits. Now I'm going to do this glitch straight from scratch as if I just came online for the first time. So as you guys can see I'm just wearing a normal modded outfit. By the way if you guys want the outfit you can see on screen just leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to link it to the video. Nonetheless, all you guys want to do straight from the start is go over to any clothing store and purchase the red coveralls that you can see me wearing right now. Now, once you guys are wearing the coveralls, all you want to do from here is head outside of the clothing store and jump in any single car. Now, you guys want to register as a CEO. You can do this now or you can do this before you purchase the coveralls. It doesn't make a difference. Once you guys are a CEO, you want to go down to Secure Serve, go to Management, go to Style, and then you want to flick CEO Style once once to the left and then back to none. And what you guys should notice is that now your blank red coveralls will be branded with the Bug Star logos, an extremely rare outfit that you guys can use, like I said, to show off to friends or even using your Rockstar editor or Snapmatic pictures. Like there is actually a van that you can find around Los Santos with the same Bug Star logos on it. So I think like you standing next to that van, maybe while smoking a cigarette, if you get the right angle, get both of the branding on it, would make a insane Snapmatic picture. And if you guys do go ahead and use it in any pictures of Rockstar Editor movies, do be sure to tag me in them on Twitter, at LaserGaming. All of my social media accounts will be down below in the description.
So all you have to do is simply drive up to the door and as you guys are entering LSC, all you simply wanna do is press the pause menu and then wait for a few seconds and you guys will notice as soon as you guys back out of the pause menu, bang you can drive around the entire ls customs as you please so an awesome glitch that literally takes about five seconds to do and you guys can use this place for like a little secret hiding spot in case you need to make a quick exit from a guy chasing you down in a jet or you need to make a quick exit from the cops nonetheless that's gonna do it for me guys five awesome glitches and tricks currently working on the ps4 xbox one and pc after all the latest patches if you guys have enjoyed this video and would like to see me do more bigger compilations like this in the future all they ask is you drop a like down below and if this video does do well i'll definitely be sure to post more like this in the future nonetheless that's gonna do it for me guys thanks all for watching and i'll see you in my next video peace